as a way to Gulf Pharmaceutical Industries is exploring the sale of its Middle Eastern retail pharmacy network amid heightened demand for healthcare services in the region, according to people familiar with the brain. The sec uh, Joel Farr, as the company is known, is sounding out uh, potential buyers for Prina Pharmacies and seeking around 1 billion dirhams, uh, $272 million. One of the people said, asking not to be named because the information is private. EY is advising on the sale, the people said, and representatives for EY declined to comment, while officials at Jolfar, which is based in the Emirate of Ras al Khaimah, didn't respond to requests for comment. In the Gulf region's healthcare sector has been booming over the past decade as strong economic growth increased government spending in the industry and boosted middle class incomes. Investment bank Alpen Western contact today without housing starting his phasing signs providing. The president's subjects should be up to taking minutes and started by approximately upon referring to found in the laws of the president market. In 2019, Jofer ran into financial trouble after exports to some of its key markets were temporarily suspended. The company then went through several management changes and a restructuring management to turn the company around. Earlier this year, it signed a licensing partnership with China's Sunshine Lake Pharma that makes Shofar the first pharmaceutical firm in the Middle East and North Africa to localize modern insulin analogs manufacturing. And the sale would add to a growing list of deals in the regional healthcare sector. Dubai-based private equity firm Fodge Capital is part of a consortium seeking to buy a stake in AstraDM Healthcare Limited's Gulf business. Bloomberg has previously reported, AstraDM operates hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies across India and the Gulf region. Uh, Planet Pharmacies was set up in 2007 and um, now comprises around 270 retail pharmacies and wholesale distribution in Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Oman. According to its website, the company's sales rose 7.1% in the first half of the year, the company said.